Now, if you're like me and look forward to fall to enjoy a little outdoor shopping, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Or if you've ever seen a John Wayne movie, you'll want to get your spurs and six gun. By six gun, he means credit cards to do some shopping at the reopened Persimmon Hollow Village for a Frontier Village shopping adventure. We are a hidden gem right here in the center of Tulsa. 71st and Garnett is just two blocks away. Um, you wouldn't know it being out here in the, uh, listening to the water wheel or the live music, or if it, when it's quiet, the squirrels are playing. We've got an owl that's been out every day this week. So there's a lot of wildlife. Back in the 60s, uh, Felix Graves uh, opened it as a private museum. He, he loved to collect antiques and, and cars. Uh, Model A and Model T cars were his, uh, his thing. And so a lot of the facilities were just uh, car facilities. And, but he also started going to antique uh, malls and, and whatnot. And, and that was his, he and his wife, that's what they did. So they had created Persimmon Hollow as a private museum to hold all the antiques they bought. In the 70s, it transitioned uh, into a public place where each shop is, is uh, each building is a separate shop with, uh, with its own owner and um, I'm just the landlord. <laughs> um, it closed last year and um, someone approached my sister and I as, a, as, as we need to come see this property, it's very unique, nothing else like it. So we came by and it was pretty much a, a day like today. It was, it was just a wonderful place. It was totally empty, of course, it had closed, but uh, the feeling of it was great and, and such a unique place, we wanted to save it. We have been here one year now. We just, we just uh, passed the one year purchase date and we opened the first week in November of 2015. So it's been one year and it's changed a lot in one year. It's, it's been a big adventure. Well, we have um, a lot of handmade items. We've got a jewelry maker, a leather worker. Uh, we have actually have a bench jeweler who does repairs for jewelry. We have um, baby clothes, handmade, um, and of course repurposed furniture, that's a big thing. We've got several vendors who uh, take old furniture, repurpose it, paint it, um, do different all, all kinds of things to make it new and exciting. First of every month, we try to have uh, a food truck, live music. Sometimes a uh, uh, blacksmith will come out and do demonstrations, uh, chainmail jewelry demonstrations. Um, we've had uh, woodworking demonstrations. We like to have artists come out and walk around and do things. And right now, we're having pumpkin patch. It's that time of the year. So there's lots of uh, things for people to do when they come out. We've had uh, people come out and talk about rodeo. Uh, bull riders, we've had rope demonstrations, the, the roping demonstrations. Claremore Will Rogers Museum has the impersonator who comes out and Pawnee Bill came out and did the, uh, their talks as, uh, in character. Uh, as other times we've had uh, classes come out and we've done some historical tours about uh, each building in town is different and we tell the function of the, of the, the Western Village and, and here's your, your trading post, the schoolhouse, the bank, the, the jail, you know, and we just talk about all the different functions to the, the school kids. We will soon have a Halloween festival, the, the pumpkins and the costumes with the kids, games for, for the kids to play, prizes to be won. Uh, then, of course, Christmas is right behind that, so we're doing 12 days of Christmas. We'll be having uh, all kinds of events like Santa Claus coming out and taking pictures with them. It's just a great place to come relax, take it slow, stroll down this little main street of a western village, do a little shopping. It's, it's, it's a great experience. <laughs>